Hey everybody, you are seeing this correctly. You are seeing a live video of a jewelry unboxing and a camera down. Can I say happy Easter to you? And <laughs> there's more than one miracle that happened today. Camera up and camera down combined. That's right. Today, we are going to try out my new toy, my new camera that will record camera down while we are streaming live. So we get the best of both worlds. I'm so excited to try it out. And I still am able to use the treasure cam. So if we really need to get in there to um, get to see the marks and things like that, I've got that going too. So there will likely be snafus. There will likely be issues because this is new uh, and it's a new toy and I'm having to play with it and figure it all out. But I'm so excited because that is one of the things that I get the most comments about when I do camera up jewelry videos. I have people saying, I want camera down. When I do camera down videos, people, oh, I miss your face. So now you get to have both. And now we get to find out is it really my face or is it the jewelry or is it both? I'm so excited to try this because look, look, and then I can switch it over to the little cam. Let me show you what it looks like. Ready? Here's the big cam. Wait, let me make it bigger so you can see. I linked it down below too for my fellow YouTube people. It's a technically it's a document camera, but I don't care. It will do what I say when I say it, hopefully today is gonna <laughs> we're gonna find out and then watch i can switch over to do the the treasure cam ready i can select what camera i want boom and it'll switch over and then we can do treasure cam away isn't that fun so we can get close up too i tried doing close up with the new camera and it's too grainy the only issue i'm finding is that when i come back like when I switch cameras, I have to rotate it again because look, it, now my hand's upside down. And that's just weird. I have upside down hands. So now I just, whenever we switch back, I just have to go floop and then we're done. Haha. -ha. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited. Hello, everybody. I know, right? I got high tech. Watch out. Technical girl in the house. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, it, and it does tons of stuff flipping crazy. Uh, I just got it yesterday so this is my first play playing with it i've literally only played with it for like 30 minutes before i came live <laughs> so uh there will likely be issues but it does all kinds of stuff i think you can record with it and everything too record onto your desktop so excited about it all right so this was all just stuff from the other day i'm going to put that in one of my little tubby things that i keep keep a hold of and we're going to dive into a new box so I will be going back and forth and that way we can have fun and see jewelry up close and personal. I hope you guys are all having a really great Easter Sunday. We are, we're going to actually do the kids, the kids and I are going to do our stuff tomorrow because they've got stuff going on today. So that's what's happening in our world. Let's see. Happy Easter. Yay. Hello. Hello. Um, how do I store all that? I've got uh, videos about that, but I can kind of show you. Like when it's listed, you see over there all the those drawers? That is all my listed stuff. But then like I've got more of those where I sort stuff, and then I've just got it in tubs. Tubs of stuff. And I try to sort it. Um, do a live sale. Uh, maybe in a week or two, I might be able to do a live sale. It's a, it, it's, you got to prep for that. You know, all right. So this is the box that we're going to open today. We're going to get open. This one came in a bag, as you can see. So let's do, let me put it over here. Let's do first impressions. We can do first impressions up here, or we can do first impressions over here. And I can make it even bigger. If you're like, bigger, 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 watch. Boom. You don't have to see me at all if that was really the problem. I can change this too bright. Yay. So here we are. First impressions. I see chains. Some wooden beads down here. Y'all, this is really exciting for me. I'm easily amused, but this is like blowing my mind. That looks fun. What are you? That looks like 
almost like a green man type of deal. That's exciting. I can't wait to see you in person. Closer up. And then this side, what do we have? Oh yeah, Easter chick. I see some leaves. There's another leaf over there. How fun. Okay, there's some fun stuff in here. I see a ring. Where'd it go? Don't hide from me. All right, let's dive into this. Ah, was there an Easter basket in there? Oh, there was. Okay, so let's let's get started, shall we? Uh, first up, let me know if that ring light is going to bug you. I, I was trying to get enough light. So we have, oh, you are hanging on. You're trying to slip through the cracks, but you have to wait your turn, just like everybody else. All right. The, I don't know where this one's from. I really um, don't keep track of the, that. Probably, I just don't. <laughs> I take it out of the box because usually I get more than one. And so I take it out of the box and... I think two is what they limit you to now. And then I put the big box in the garage, like, and then the little ones come upstairs to the workroom. Okay. Remember when these were like all the rage when people were wearing big giant flowers? Like I think Stex in the city, they were all wearing big giant flower brooches. The back of the leather is kind of yucky. The front, what do you think? I feel like this part of it is not awesome. I mean, the rest of it looks okay, but probably just going to end, end up in a lot for that one. Tell me if this is just weird to you. I can't even. We'll do it both. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is fun. All right. Then we've got this bracelet. I feel weird turning to the side. Let's see if we can. Again, we're just, uh, I'm going to turn this. We're trying to make it, you know, first try. First try. All right. Then we've got this bracelet. I'm trying to tell what those motifs are. Uh, is it a flower? I guess it's supposed to be a flower there. Is that what that is? Probably. So this is a metal cuff. I mean, it's got some wear to it, so it looks kind of distressed. And I mean, there are people that like this style for sure. It's definitely, you know, seen better days. I'm on the fence though, because some people like it to look a little worn. Some people don't like it super shiny. So this is a maybe seller. What's going on with this though? Is that a leaf? A butterfly? It's just oh, open work. I'm just gonna say like open work. <laughs> Who was? It? Yeah, if you're in my group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, there, there was a post about the bar Barbie part. Somebody took Barbie. Yeah, they took a knife to Barbie's ears and stuff and made jewelry out of Barbie body parts. It was bizarre. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, thank you, Barbara Ann. Since we can't bring hostess and gifts of pastries or wine, bring likes. Yes, thank you. Uh, oh, you saw, yeah, I see some Easter ones in there too. All right. So then we've got this bracelet. It's kind of like an animal print, but look, the stretch is not good with this one. This feels so strange. I feel like I feel like I'm cheating on you or something because I'm I'm over here and I need to be up here. Hi. Uh, but yeah, no, we're over here now. I can, yeah, I, if we find something fun, I can definitely put it on my head and whatever we have to do for funsies. Let's get some more. Again, still trying to figure out this setup for us. What's best for the, the lot of us. Okay, then we've got, now can I zoom? I can zoom in. Is this going to, watch, I'm going to try to do this. Because um, I feel like I need to be closer on some of these pieces. Y'all tell me too. Okay, look, zooming in. Is that better? That's better, right? Now we're really up close and personal. Cool? Cool. Look it. What is that? Get out of here. All right, so then we've got this little bunny rabbit and egg. They could probably use a little wipe down, but maybe this would be something to set to the side for uh, a lot of Easter jewel, uh, not, yeah, Easter jewelry. What am I thinking? I'm trying to get the lighting just right. Y'all tell me, it's too dark. Is that too bright? Is that good? Okay. Yay. Okay. I'm just so excited by this. Um, so I just did an unboxing, my first one the other day, no home runs, but well, yeah, sometimes you get them and there's, you know, like the last one I did, there was, it was steady, nothing like, whoa, but usually, you know, 30 bucks, it's a gamble for sure. But for the most part, I do all right. So yeah, Easter bunnies. Let's see what else we got in here. Little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles. We got to come up for the song. You know it. 
<laughs> little bangles made a ticky tacky little bangles on the hillside. And they all look just the same. Except for these don't. There's a gold one and a gold one. I see this one. I've seen ones like this a lot. This one, however, is kind of cute. I wish there were more like it to do stacking with. Let me come back down so we can see. Yeah, this one's pretty cute. It's got this hammered look to it and then these little white cabochons, if you will. And no maker's mark, but that's okay. Okay, maybe I've zoomed too much. You'll have to tell me. Okay, er, we're still playing with it. We're figuring this out. Maybe this is zoomed in too much. Back it out a little bit. There, okay. So, yeah, this is one I may just hang to the side and see if I find another few, maybe in a couple other boxes. Because I think these would look good stacked with the little, with the little those. Ah, uh, was Mary Thomas here? Oh, Mary Thomas from New York. see, my, my friend, I have a, my, one of my, one of my best good friends named Mary Thomas. Okay, is she not here? Let's see, what do we have next? Next, we have got this necklace, and it's just a, one of those ring-type necklaces that's got all the little rings. It's super duper long, as I'll show you over here. So it's really long, and I did see a hang tag. Where are you from? Let's find out. This one's even too big to put on the head. Could it be a belt? I guess if you were, I mean... Maybe. Not for me, but I guess it could be a belt for somebody. I'm working on it, okay? I swear, after I got COVID, I really gained a lot of weight. Um, Chico's. I was doing so well with my weight loss, you know, now that we're talking about weight loss. You brought it up. Um, yeah, so Chico's has got a following. People really like their jewelry. Even though this is this kind of necklace is kind of like it, I see a lot of it. Some people might prefer if it's got the name Chico's associated with it over just a random one. So there's that. Okay. Putting that to sale. I'm going to have a couple solo earrings coming along here. Yeah. So I was doing really well with my weight loss before COVID. And then uh, I got COVID. <laughs> and then I gained like 10 pounds after that. It, but, you know, it was awful. So now I'm on the I'm on the mend and trying to get that going again. I bought an Oculus. Do you how many of you guys have an Oculus? Okay, so this one's missing. It's stretch. I love the purple though. I love the little purple hearts, but they're they're missing little blings. Yeah, so I got the Oculus and it's like a virtual reality thing. And it's not just for games though. I've been doing workouts where you're like listening to music and like popping balloons with your lightsabers. Ah, uh, we've got a tangle. Hang on. Now you can watch me detangle. Let's see. The two blue boxes. Wait, I'm missing some chat here. Uh, good morning from Seattle. Hello. Two blue boxes I got. Surprise restock on Monday are coming from Waco. I, you know, some people don't like getting boxes from Texas, but then what? that one box I got from Texas, I mean, it was probably $2,500 worth of gold, silver, James Avery. It was just amazing it was an, like probably the best box i've gotten and it was from texas so that's why i'm like eh. i hesitate to like disparage one over another but you know we're gamblers so we like to you know get superstitious about things i see lots of bonus here and here the only problem here is i can't speed it up for you like i do and listen to my sunshine samba music i mean i guess i could put the music on but i can't speed it up because there's only one speed for me. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> Look at all that bonus hair. It's disgusting. I like the little hearts necklaces, though, so it might be worth getting it out of there. Oh, come on now. You can do this. I'm looking. Uh, I feel like the chat is really quiet. Are y'all there? Is that okay? Maybe a lot of people are at, at church this morning. Uh, and that's why it's really, but y'all are here. Y'all are quiet. Maybe you're just watching. James Avery can make a box and they tend, yeah, totally. Because James Avery's me is, well, I guess they may have places they make it. I can't. I just can't do it. But, yeah. So this will be one I have to take apart later because I'm going to just go berserk. 
But this is a piece of shell that has been painted on. It's interesting, but I'll probably just put it into a lot. Oh, gosh, like, the hair is driving me bonkers. But I really like the little hearts that look, you know, almost like tiger striped. Oh, so for now, it's just going to go to the side. It's going to the side if I want to put the effort into detangling all that hair out of it. Uh, it is quite, I think that, um, yeah, I think probably a lot of people are, are with their families today and all of this stuff. So that's probably what's going on. But I'm glad you guys are here because we can spend it together. We can make it special together. This one looks really nice. A lot of times when you find these, this type of brooch, or when I do rather, um, they're scuffed up and the finish is all, uh, you know, but this one looks pretty good. The back has got a little bit of a problem, but that's the back. The front looks great. So this is definitely one I could sell. I'm surprised there's not a maker's mark. A lot of times these will have some kind of little maker's mark on it, but not on this one, but it's cute enough. I think it could sell. Let's see. Is it shame from James Avery worth anything? It is. Uh, and actually when I was still living in Houston and I was going to my, the gold guy where I was, would go, I haven't found somebody here to sell my gold. I get that question a lot. Um, he said, you know, if you have, if you have James Avery silver stuff, I will pay more than the, you know, whatever price for James Avery. Cause he will just flip it. He'll sell it himself or put it with a pendant. Yeah. Somebody would prefer, cause they know the quality is going to be there with the James Avery stuff. Uh, switch a room. We got another tangle here. That's it. This is the only problem. So just that it was hard to tear all that hair out. This is true. So let's see. Uh, now I see a gray hair. Oh gosh. <laughs> you can't tell if it's Bob's or the dogs. All right. There's a ring in here. I'm really trying to detach from the chains that are all here. Chain, chain, chain. I can't even with that. Don't try Margaret. You're not going to do it justice. <laughs> chain of fools. That's awful. Oh gosh. <laughs> Every day. Nope. Every chain. Not every day. It's got a weak link. Uh, don't even, Margaret. You can't sing like that. So, got your first ever blue box today. It was, oh, from the surprise restock. Oh, cool. So much fun. I'm glad. I missed the surprise restock. All right. Oh, you just sold the James Avery gold necklace for 600 bucks. Yeah. Their stuff is... People love their James Avery. Okay, so look at this ring. So this has got, I mean, it's just costume jewelry. It's nothing fancy, but it looks fun. So it's got a light blue, a dark blue, and a clear stone. It looks like so. Isn't that fun? Okay, mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you got the mandrel, then you are it. I have it. It's an, oh, wow. It's upside. It looks weird. No, no. Does it look great to you all? It looks backwards. Oh, well. <laughs> or does it? I can't, I look at the eight and I'm like, no, that's right. And then I look at the nine. No, 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 that's not right. So eight and a half on that one. That's a fun little ring. I think that will, I still, I still think it could sell. I think it's cute. <clears throat> okay. Cooking while you watch dad's 86, but happy birthday, dad. You're having barbecue just with the immediate family. Oh, fun. What kind of barbecue are you making? Oh my gosh, y'all. So here's story time while I detangle this. We, when we were in Arkansas, Sorry if you're from Arkansas. I think it's just a regional thing, okay? Um, we had an amazing time. Arkansas is beautiful. We loved it. We loved it. We loved it. However, we went when we were in the hot springs. What We all were choosing something we wanted to do while we were in hot springs. And my son was like, I, we were reading up, you know, at the hotel, the little pamphlets of different things to see in hot springs. And we saw that. Bill Clinton's favorite barbecue restaurant was in Hot Springs, and it was this restaurant called McClard's. And so that was what he wanted to do. He wanted to go there and have the barbecue from, and just because it was a president, not even because he even knows who Bill Clinton is, because it was a presidential person, their favorite barbecue restaurant. I'm detangling while we talk. Maybe I should show you while I'm detangling because I'm still looking down. Um, so we went, and this place has been open since 1928, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, we didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it was not good. And I feel really bad because it gets great reviews. It's got amazing reviews. So I just think maybe the style of barbecue that they made, 
I actually did a review video for our, our homeschool channel. It's going to go up tomorrow. <laughs> it was not good. Uh, and yeah, again, I hate that I'm being, I was like so brutal about it, but oh gosh. I, I think maybe also my dad makes the best barbecue in the world. So coming from that and trying to compare any other barbecue is just uh, impossible. I can't, I can't. This one is going to be a longer detangling process. This would be one where I would have to, but what we do, no, no, we don't. I thought we had a tassel here. We might have a tassel in there somewhere. So these will have to get detangled. So what we've got here is a chain with some like stationed pearls. Satellite sometimes they're called, what do you call them? Stationed or satellite? I like to call them both. So, um, and it's a multi-strand necklace. So it's really cute, but it's gonna take a minute for me to get it apart from this other multi-strand necklace that's got chains and bling and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Have I been to Round Top? No. I I mean, I drive through there on the way home, but I haven't stopped at any of the stores. And I know they have a big um, thing there, like re selling thing. That's not what it's called, though. What's it called? <sighs> okay. I always grill the, the sauce on the meat. Okay. Everybody's got their, their way, right? Yeah, barbecue is highly subjective. <laughs> Very it was very strange. That's the thing. Like my dad's barbecue is so good. You don't even need sauce. It's just like falling off the bone because he smokes it. Uh, and it's just like, he, it takes like 24 hours for him to make brisket, you know, and ribs is like an all day ordeal. So <laughs> yeah. Um, Texas boxes arrive. It, it, yeah, I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> it was like fatty, but then hard on the outside. I just didn't, I was like, I don't even know how they did that, but okay, whatever. I hear Bill Clinton's a vegan now, so maybe that's why. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. The antique market, that's what it is. They have all the booths out at round top. Yep. Um, so here's a nice little necklace. This one has got a nice little glass bead. I have to look up the name of this style because it's got the, glass swirls on the outside of it, you know? And so I don't know that that would be considered layer cake. I don't think so because that that's another style that I always have to look to make sure I get it right. So this is a nice one. It's got that Y shaped. I always call it a Y necklace and I always get corrected, but that's what I call it. Lavalier, but that's not right either, is it? I think this one is some, somebody made this because as you can see, it's got gold links along here, little bicone beads. And then on the back part, it's got a silver chain. So it's probably something someone made, but it's really sweet. I think someone would like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Lamp work. Maybe that's the one. Again, thank goodness for the internet. Cause I, <laughs> if I had to remember all of this, I would be in trouble. Thank goodness. And I think it's okay. I think, you know, I think some, I think, the idea that for you to be a proficient, pardon me, proficient jewelry seller, lover, whatever, like you have to remember all of these terms and you have to remember all of the everything just to be, not that I think anybody's an expert, but just because you can recite it off from heart, <laughs> I, I, I would never, it would be so hard for me. So I'm glad the internet exists, so I don't have to worry about it. Lamp work is what y'all were fixing. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is a sweet one. It's got a little peace sign and probably just a how light chunk of turquoise I'm looking around. So the telltale signs would be you would see some white. If I could get closer into the where I could see the hole where the drill is, I would be able to see better. But I'm, my guess is that it's probably just a how light bead. And then the back has got a nice little bicone. That's a nice touch. That's a sweet little necklace right there. That's well, sweet. Okay, that'll be a seller. Uh, Flipping Crazy says, I hate tangles, but I have some friends that love them, so I send them five pounds of ball to untangle. Yes. I don't really enjoy it. All right, so here we've got a rosary bracelet. It's got that, that. And if, uh, again, we, I think I may have shared this with y'all. When we went to San Antonio for that, we did a mission, we went to all the missions there uh the old spanish missions and we had to be we were at the 
Incarnacion, not Incarnacion, <laughs> Concepcion, Mission Concepcion on the Palm Sunday, and they had the mariachi mask going. It was so cool. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. Anyway, so we've got the this bracelet that is a rosary bracelet. That's sweet. Somebody will like that. Uh, I know we're jumping around. Uh, if you didn't like barbecue till you have brisket in Texas. I tell you what, I think it's just not fair. Maybe I shouldn't do a review of barbecue. Same deal with Mexican food. We, we, had, we had Mexican food in Arkansas. And I called my mom after. I was like, Mom, we had Mexican food. She goes, in Arkansas? What were you thinking? <laughs> I was like, I need to find out what the regional food is. Catfish, from what I could tell. Catfish. If you're from Arkansas, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really... I'm really not. We had a really great time, but it's just regional stuff, right? It's, made, it's funny. If you came to Texas and poked fun at our regional stuff, I wouldn't I wouldn't begrudge you it because it's just different, right? <laughs> all right, so this little cross is missing some stones. And again, it is all tangled up in this necklace, which under normal circumstances, if it was a cool necklace, I really thought you needed to see closer. I'd probably spend more time detangling it, but no. They'll probably just go both of them to a lot. I've got some more earrings set aside here. Uh, what exactly does everyone consider barbecue? You always think ribs. So they there there's like turkey. You can do turkey barbecue ribs, chicken. Like I do barbecue chicken drumsticks as a quick meal for us. You know for the kids at home. That's actually what I made whenever we had the freeze and we before we lost power and the whole time I was like, oh, we're gonna lose power. I need to cook a bunch of food. That's what I did. I, I cooked like five pounds of chicken drumsticks <laughs> so that the kids would have, you know, and barbecue chicken drumsticks anyway. Um, so they would have something to eat and then we only lost power for a minute. For, well, a little bit more than that, but let's see. This necklace, again, it's got Say it with me. Run, two, three. Next wet. Uh, the fabric always makes me think of the next wet. There's a little tangle over here, so that's kind of annoying. But uh, this little enamel, <coughs> enameled. I guess it's a medallion, even though it's rectangular. I'm trying to open it so I can detangle it over here. We, I mean, and I'm having a lot of fun making, um, editing the videos from our trip. I'm not done with that though from our Arkansas trip. And then I'm gonna do our, goodness gracious, I can't get this thing unhooked. There, um, our San Antonio trip. So y'all can see, if you're interested, I'm putting them on our homeschool channel though. So yeah, the fabric, next wet. I don't know, what do you think about that? I'll probably just put it into a lot. Mm, I mean, I like green, but mm, I don't know. I would need a new necklace part for sure. Now, this is green, I like it. So now we've got a green necklace. This is a small necklace as far as necklaces go. Here, I'll show you. You know, it's a very, it would have to hang like so. And let's see. Ah, okay, we'll go big. Go big or go home. Yeah, it's cute. I like those peridot colored beads. The dark green ones have got a little cool sheen to them. I don't know if you can see that. And then the what do you call this? I mean, it's like a black chain. You could call it gunmetal. Sometimes it antique to look. I think I'd lean more towards gunmetal or black on this one. So that's kind of cool. Black chain. It's more black than gunmetal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Somebody might like that. <clears throat> no, Mexican. My mom was like, what were you thinking? Yeah. And I tried to I tried to make sure I was looking <laughs> at reviews, but then I guess if that's all you have to compare with now San Antonio, we couldn't get enough Mexican food. We went to a Mexican food restaurant to get tacos, breakfast tacos, and that was it. My kids were done. They were like, "That's all we want the whole time we're here. Well, let's go back there." And it was called Pete's Taco House with a K, but then Pete's Taco House wasn't delivering. Or they didn't, and so we ended up getting tacos, breakfast tacos from another place the next day, and uh, and they were great. 
<laughs> they were, it's just like the homemade tortillas and like everything is so fresh. And the second place, what was the name of it? The tacos were so good, but they were so cheap that I ordered like 10 tacos because they were a buck 50 a piece. And I was like, oh, they're probably gonna be the street taco size, the little smaller ones. No, they were like full on stuffed breakfast tacos, potatoes, egg, jalapenos, the whole nine yards. And I was like, oh gosh, now we have 10 of them. <laughs> So we were eating tacos all day, and it was amazing and wonderful. I loved it. Yeah. Mexican food, San Antonio, that's that's the place to be. Okay, we're going up, coming to the head. This one has to. We had the gold necklace. We had to put it on the head. All right, how cool is this one? I love it. It doesn't go all the way, all the way around back. So this would be a nice, like, at the base of the throat, collar, necklace. For me, maybe a joker. <laughs> but it's cool. I like it a lot. That's a nice one. Mm-hmm. Do we have... I'm going to zoom it out a little bit so y'all can see it in its all its glory. I wish I could zoom on the actual camera, but I can't. I have to go into the little app part to do it. Again, I'm, I feel bad. I hope my Arkansas friends are not mad at me. You can make fun of Texas too. We wear big hats. We have funny accents. We think way too much about the Alamo. <laughs> Look, isn't it pretty? So it's got smooth and twisted crescents that uh, link together so it's articulated. Very cool. Those are some good keywords, y'all. Um, Miss Brisket. Oh, gosh, yeah. So. You think gunmetal, yeah. One thing, yeah, bre breakfast tacos. There's a place in Kerrville where my sister lives that makes really great breakfast tacos. I'm sure there's a place here. I just haven't found it yet. Another thing was a Mexican based bakery. Like you find your Mexican bakery and that's it. Like that's your one. So when we were in San Antonio, we were like, of course there's Mexican bakeries everywhere. So I was like, we've got to find the best one. <laughs> And again, it was so cheap. Like we got all this stuff. Like we probably had, oh gosh, churros and sweetbreads and all kinds of stuff. And the lady's like, that'd be $10 even. I'm like you're kidding. Okay. I'll give you more money for all of this. But yeah, it was so cheap and so good. Let's see. But I will give it, you know, Arkansas has great scenery. It was beautiful. We... We we're just walk, driving around going, wow, look at how beautiful this is. All right, so next up, we've got another. This looks like another one of those, kind of like the green one, like maybe a Claire's style necklace, but it's sweet. It's got these little flowers, little A, B, Aurora Borealis stones in the center. Again, maybe gunmetal on this one as far as the necklace goes. Yeah, that's a cute one. <clears throat> Hello from Oregon. I'm so glad you're here. Let's see in the chat. You like the zoom a bit further out. Okay. I guess if we need to zoom in, we can. We haven't had to use the treasure cam yet. Look at this one. This one's long. Let me show you. Close. How are you liking this format? Is it disorienting? Up and down, up and down. I'm trying not to go back and forth too much. This one's super long, so I know even if I put it under the camera, it won't catch all of it because it's so long. But it's got these open work beads. It's got these little flashers. That's for catching the men's eye. Uh, the blue balls and more blue balls and wooden balls and gold balls and open work balls. We'll just come back down here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is a fun one. I mean, it looks like it's, you know, got a little wear to it. The chain is maybe it just needs a good wipe down. You know, looks like maybe some of this, the gold tone has got a little bit of wear. Maybe I need to reposition my light. I'm not sure. Where's my exposure? I need to be brighter. Maybe that's better. Yeah, so this is a nice one. It's super long. I mean, I guess you could wear it as a belt, but I'm, I'm not going to try. Because that's another one of those that's like down in the valley. The valley so green. I lost my poor necklace. When somebody screamed no here's one look at this one okay so we've got some bonus hair can you see it there it is bonus hair that's a long one okay it doesn't want to come out 
it's got the fabric running through it, which I don't like. But the rest of it's cool. I really wanted to put it on my head, but that bonus here is really, no. Okay, now let's try. Here we go. Let's see how this one looks. You're screaming at the camera right now. I can hear you. Don't do it. I'm gonna. Here it is. I've got a fringe now. How would I look? Do you think I would look good with fringe? Very few people can pull it off with bangs. I've had bangs in the past, but not like this. These are amazing bangs. That would be a great, oh, great idea, Margaret. A new, I mean, we ha we need a new jewelry thing. What if you could buy blingy bangs that you could just wear, right? Like it's a, a fashion statement. Nobody's thought of this until now, except for probably somebody, but I've never seen it. And you could just change it out and like color coordinate with your outfit or like have holiday bangs. How cool would that be? All right, trademarked. Texas Gals Treasures, LLC. <laughs> that would be so fun. And you just like put it around your, you know, like stretch your part around the back of your head. Come now. How have we not got this already? Shark Tank bangs. Has, has it already been on Shark Tank? Get me, get me there ASAP. <laughs> All right. You do necklace beards on your channel. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So fun. Yeah. These are my new bangs. I'll put them over there. Next week on Shark Tank, Margaret gets a million dollar deal to make bling bangs. <laughs> bling bangs. Yep. <laughs> okay, then come, come away, you. You'll have your turn in a second. Then, yes, best of both worlds. I'm so glad. Look at this one. Whoa. Okay, we got to come up for this one. This one has got a lot. Wow. Okay. We can put it on. But again, this is like, look, it's already, already just gravitating down, down in the valley. I know friends have said, hey, you could wear like a tank top underneath and then it'll like hold it apart up here. But I'm just like, it's Texas. It'll be a million degrees. Who would you choose? I don't know. Um, I don't remember what well, I've seen Shark Tank in passing, but I don't know. Whoever will give me the best deal and help me make the most money. But this is a cool one. Lots of cool chains. And then it's got this. Hmm, okay, what's the word for that? Where that all comes together on a bar. And then it's got that. This is a really nice one. I can see someone. I have a feeling I'm going to get an email already for that. Like so, on the right person, it would look really cool. But on me, it's like, yeah, it gets skinny. That's the that's that's where I get my skinny, right? It goes right down the middle. So there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no, some beads just fell. Next up, we've got. Is it an eye? Let's flip it. Let's see it. It is an eye. Okay. We've got a purple eye with a little blingy teardrop. Get out of here. What is this purple? What are you? Should we use our treasure cam to get closer? Let's try it. Let's see how it works. We're going to do it. Our first transition. Select camera. Treasure cam. Away. Dun, 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 dun. How's that for a transition? What do you think that is now? It's purpley. Is it just something that's been dyed and painted, do you think? I'm trying to focus it. I don't think it's shell or anything. It's probably just something that's been dyed purple. It's got some, hmm, maybe it's, I don't know. You're thinking too much about it, Margaret, probably is what's going on here. Probably. All right, so let's switch back. And here we go. And here we go. There we go. All right, so cool. Yeah, somebody will definitely like that one. Put that over there. They can be rather brutal on oh, Shark Tank. Yeah, I can take it. I can take it. Oh, yeah, I don't. Okay, so we've got another necklace here. It's cool, but yeah, the, the fabric, just no. I like the idea of it, though. I like the little 
triangle, but this is a Claire's piece as well. So that's going to go to a lot. I need to have a box of tissues in here. There's something in the air. Something is blowing through. <clears throat> Stick a Barbie eye in it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to make that happen with the bangs, but it's a really good idea. I think people would do it. They would buy it. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. Ah, it's so pretty. So we've got this <clears throat> kind of paneled piece here with two little drops with bicone beads and some more blue bicone up here. Oh, isn't it sweet? My nose is really sniffly now. All of a sudden, there must be something maybe in the box. Let's try zooming in a teens, shall we? Just so we can get a good look at it. How is that? Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's missing a stone right there. I wonder if it's in the bottom. That would be an easy fix, though, just to glue it, another little blue blingy stone in there. I'm going to set it to the side because I think that's too cute to not fix it. Then, what is going on here? I feel like we've got a tingle happening with something cool. We do. Mm, okay. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay. So the part that I want to take off is like a thread. Yeah, let me show you that part. I mean, it's just straight up thread. Somebody made a bracelet or whatever this is with thread. It's got some nice beads on it, so that'll go to a lot when I disentangle it from this necklace, which is cool. I like it. Again, probably homemade. It's got a toggle clasp over here but it's all again tangled up with that but i really like these iridescent beads i mean it's all plastic but it's it's cute oh gosh i'm gonna have to detangle you Come over there don't knock groucho down danny danny's over there trying to get comfortable and he's bumping into groucho i have a groucho marks doll And Danny is. Don't do it, Dan. Okay, come on, necklace. I keep flipping it around trying to get it the right way for you. Look at this one. Isn't this sweet? I feel like the light's not doing it justice once again. Let me brighten it up a bit. Look, it's got this little, it almost looks like a locket, but I don't think it is. No. It looks like copper on the sides. And then it, these little butterflies and black stones. How cute is that? And little Art Nouveau swirls. They almost look like little butterflies themselves on here. Poor Danny. <laughs> Danny's fine. He's a sweetheart. All right, so there's that. That's pretty cute. I like that a lot. I feel like this piece is really cool. Yeah, I'm going to look at this one closer. Because I don't know if you get the, the shine on this one. It looks it looks like it's been attached to this back piece. We're going to switch it. We're going to look closer. Margaret, are you trying to make something out of nothing? Maybe. But you got to look. That's the whole fun of it, right? Look, it is. It's like glass in there. Okay, set it down. Let's see if we can get this focused better. All right. Isn't that cool? It's that glass in there. And I was also saying, on the side, it looks, yeah, it looks like it's been glued on. You can see the bits of glue in there. Let me flip it to the other side. Because it looks like perhaps copper. It's so cool. That piece is awesome. All right, I'm going to go back to the other camera. Like, I just want that piece. All right, let me flip it. And we're going to zoom it in to see it a little bit closer. It's going to focus. It will. Come on. There it is. Are we too close now? There. Isn't it pretty, though? I love it. Why does it look like this? It looks a little bit funky. Yeah, I like that piece right there. I feel like it's special. 
and I want to take it off of whatever this is, whatever's happening here. Ah, I love it. Okay. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to put it over here in my cell pile. I have a feeling I'll be getting a message about that one too. It's so pretty. All right, come on out, more stuff. We've got uh, this wire, and then there's these little beads that are falling off all over the place. I'm going to be picking those up out of my carpet. Ah, uh, more neck sweat. All right, all of this with the fishing wire and the neck sweat, all of that is going to go, let me zoom back out a little bit, <clears throat> into a lot. There, yeah, all that, no. The beads are cool. There's some cool glass beads, though. Maybe I should save those for my sis. Yeah, those will probably go to my sis because there are some nice, like those are nice ble beads, those glass beads. But somebody put them on this fishing wire stuff. How do I extract it from the neck sweat, though? Urgh. Okay. That says the icing. No, it's Chico's. Okay, so this, is it the next wet one that's Chico's? No, can't be. I can't tell. Are they all together? <gasps> Are they? That can't be. Oh my gosh, they are. So next wet and that can't be, <laughs> is it? It is, that is in there. Oh, that was just a bad idea, Chico's. Bad idea. Okay. Maybe just go to a lot. Oh, wait, I see a crown. I see a... Do you see what I see? Flip it. Say it with me. Crown Trifari. Yes, it is. What have we got? It is a beautiful blue necklace. Blue blingy beads. And then these... What do you call that? I mean, they're silver coil beads. Like little coils, right? I am definitely missing the chat a little bit. I need to come back in a second and look in the chat. That's a really pretty one. So yeah, that's a crown trifari piece. Beautiful. That's definitely a seller. I like that blue. It's very pretty. How we doing? We're doing all right on time and everything. This one has got great stretch. I mean, it comes right back. And it says... China. It says something else next to that. I want to say it says AT&T, but I'm 99% sure that's not quite right. <laughs> Unless AT&T has started doing jewelry. Treasure cam away. Form of focus, please. NM. Huh. Okay. I don't. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's fine. It doesn't have to. <clears throat> Flip. There we go. Yeah, so that's a nice one. It feels pretty substantial. Good stretch. Nice little bling. Yeah, I'll put that in with my selling pile. This one, however, not so much. That one will probably go straight to a lot. All right. Oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, no. Somebody has decided to glue, is it like that? I think it's like that. Glue real feathers on this. I was feeling it with my thumb and I was like, what am I feeling? And I looked down, dirty feathers. No, sorry little owl. Somebody has glued dirty feathers on you. You're just gonna have to go to a lot. They do love owls, but do they love dirty feathers? This is a question. The world may never know. Hang on, I gotta get all this stuff off of my tray. I get this question, What? this is a tray from Ikea. It's the lid to an Ikea <laughs> box. That's what my tray is. Okay, then soak the feathers off, oh gosh. I'm gonna put it in a lot. I'll let somebody, have, somebody else have the joy of doing that. It won't be me. Uh, okay. Detangling, detangling. How are y'all liking this? I feel like I don't get to engage up here as much. I feel like I'm not looking at you as much. Is that okay with you? 
I guess it's okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got this little brooch. Let me try to zoom in the teens because it's so very far away. It's so very far. Yes, I got a new camera. So we can do both, upsies and downsies. Isn't that fun? Well, I mean, I guess this is okay. It's like a flower sort of burst. Yeah, okay. Uh, come here, more stuff. Now, what are you? Look how pretty this one is. Very pretty. I love this. Hmm, what is the design I want to call this? I feel like it's almost like Elizabethan, like these crest sort of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Okay, so here we go. Look at more bangs. Oh my gosh. This is definitely, where, how do you get on Shark Tank? Do, how much leg work do I have to have done before? Can I just show them this video? Be like, look, isn't this a great deal? Give me lots of money and then we'll, we'll take this and run with it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there. Okay. So very nice. Is it marked is now what we need to know. I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, but yeah, I think it's a definite seller. Very pretty. Oh, thank you, Adina. First time doing my, the camera. Good job. Oh, wait. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Ew. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we've got more. <sighs> this. A circle pinwheel. Yes. Um, watching and loving three camera setup, not morning. Pro oh, no. That's okay. What time is it for you? It's noony here. I feel like I want more coffee. I have coffee over there, but it's cold, and I won't do it. I can't do it. I need my coffee hot. So then we've got a shell, a dyed shell necklace. So that's nice. It looks like it's seen better days. But I guess it's okay. Probably just going to go to a lot. Somebody can play with it. Uh, oh, thank you. Okay, good, good. <laughs> then we've got is this one necklace or two I think it's two they're just tangled looks like a box chain yep two of them so we've got two of this box chain necklace and I I don't see any marks where's my magnet it's silver tone um, I mean, these are nice necklaces. I'll probably just hang on to them to put, if I find like a silver tone pendant, they can go on those easily, easily. All right, let go of you. I've got another bitty, bitty tangle. Oh, that's that fun one I was going to look at. Yay. Hang on. But it is tangled up with something else. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. Okie dokie. We are going to do this. We're going to take the time to detangle these couple of little things. Now then. It may be worth it. <laughs> Thank you. Let's be happy says you rule when it comes to head jewelry. <laughs> Thanks. I reign supreme. Burrito supreme. <laughs> I really, 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 there we go. Okay. Look, this is the one I saw when we were doing our mm, first impressions. It looks like something was applied to this stone. As you can see where it's kind of scuffed off. I think, yeah, there's a signature over here. It looks like some kind of wood elf or a wood sprite on a piece of marble or would you say that's marble i think it's marble all right let's come over and see if we can read the signature will it matter it might one never knows here comes treasure cam away form of can we read it j 
J. Hmm. J. Joaquim. Okay. I think that's a J. Or is that a diamond? J. Maybe it's a diamond because it's coming back down. Or it's a J. O or U. A K I M. Yeah. Looks, it does look very labyrinth. This is true. Remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with power. What power? Power of voodoo. Uh, uh oh, I switched it back. I blew my kids' minds. My my kids like, you know, the um ground control to Major Tom. And when I when we saw Labyrinth, I was like, that's the same guy, you know. And they were like, What? No way. I was like, it is. It is the same guy. So it does look very <laughs> labyrinthish. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. I would definitely get rid of this fabric because yeah. No, it's not scrimshaw. It's not carved in there. It's it looks like it's been an overlay. You can kind of see where it's because the stone isn't even green. Really like that. Where it's uh been applied onto it. Let's see. Uh yes, please hit the like, guys. And leave come back and leave a comment later too. Yeah. Because then it'll tell YouTube, hey, people like watching her. That's fun. Okay, this one will definitely be a seller. I'll just have to figure out how to describe it. Oh, Bowie, yeah. Definitely. All right, then this is the other one that we've got. It's a long one, so let me come back up and show you. Oopsie daisy. Here we go. So multi-strand, really long. It's got that snail chain the s and then these stationed black beads somebody will like that too that's another one that would go right down in the valley for me <laughs> okay so there yeah that's one i think someone might like they might like it you go over there magnet oh i wish i had more coffee right now oh well then oh i have this net earring from another lot i do i do I have the mate, unless there's another one in here. I have even another one now. Cool. All right, here's a fun necklace. This one's got, it's a chain link necklace with a twisted chain and just like a matte silver chain. Somebody will definitely like that. And this one is one that sits right at the base of the throat. So like a collar style right down here. Very cool. That's a seller. Then we've got this big, long, multi-strand, snaky chain. It's a big one. Let go of you. Let go. Let go. This is another one we're going to have to come up for. Is it missing? Look, it is missing a chain. Right there, you can see it's missing one. Oh, but it's still here. Because look, on the other side, uh, they're all there. I don't know how to reattach something like that. But let's take a peek shall we yeah see there's one that is detached what would you do it's also missing another chain so there is one more that's supposed to be there so this will probably just go into a lot but i can see somebody really having fun with all this chain and making like something cosplay you know or whatever definitely <clears throat> let's see do i ever figure out the pendant with the people brushing their teeth no i still have it too that brooch it's around here somewhere. And it's like celluloid with the guys that are like brushing their teeth on it. No, but it's super cool and old. Okay, Jerry! It's backwards somehow. Wait, I bet we can fix this. Jerry! Paging Jerry! We've got your belt buckle. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, this way? There we go. Look! Oh my gosh, we're learning. <clears throat> Jerry! Paging Jerry, solid brass. Uh, my son loves Jerry Lewis. And for his birthday, I guess, or was it Christmas last year, my mom got him like the box set of Jerry Lewis movies. His favorite is The Bellboy. So good. So good. Oh, gosh. Okay. Sorry, Jerry. We've got dirty feathers. <clears throat> I don't I don't want to touch them. So it looks like this is supposed to be a 
I have my nose itches and I can't touch my face with my hands. Uh, dream catcher style. I mean, these feathers don't look awful. I've seen way worse. Looks like we've got some pheasant feathers in here, some claws, and some black feathers. Somebody might like this. I mean, I'll I'll probably try to sell it because look, it's. I mean, that one looks kind of scrawny, but the rest look okay, even though I don't want to touch them. But that's not for me to decide. Somebody else may decide they want to touch them. We got more dirty fabric. That's going to go to a lot. Ah, what's Baron? Baron belt buckles from the 70s are great sellers. Let me get that back out. Is it a Baron? I mean, maybe it doesn't say. There's a B. And it looks like a BBB in there. Yeah, Baron buckles. 1978. Sweet. All right, Jerry, you're going to sell. Then this necklace has got some earrings all stuck in it, so let's disentangle it from the others. Why is it when I start doing this, my nose starts itching, but my hands are filthy, so I don't dare touch. <laughs> all right, there we go. What else are y'all doing today? The day is, is young. I'm going to do my Oculus workout in a little while. I've gotten that VR workout, and I'm really enjoying it, really getting some good activity in. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> this is the part you don't get to see and why I speed up the video and put music behind it so you don't hear me whining and complaining about detangling stuff. No, <laughs> yeah, God, why? Why? Now you get the joys of listening to me complain <laughs> about detangling. All right, here we go. This is a nice piece. Ready, set, go. All right, so we've got this necklace. It's gold tone with this black enamel, like medallions, I guess. They're kind of like diamond shaped, sort of a rounded rhombus, if you will. And then, yeah, it goes up to a double strand chain and up and up and up. And we do have a maker's mark. And this says Bijou Turner. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that for you here. Bijou Turner. I don't know that brand, but it looks like it's good quality. Have y'all heard of this one? Um, yeah. Do you do you have the Oculus? I have it, and I start. There's Beatmaster, which is you you pay for it. You know, it's an app. But then I did end up subscribing to the Supernatural, which is it's not Supernatural. It's just called that, but it's a workout thing. I like that one because it's more music, you know, you know, and so I can you can really get into it. And they have high, medium, and low. They even have meditations on there. I'm enjoying it. So if it gets me excited about working out, then I'm all for it. So, and for me, that's important. <laughs> I can do it at home. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oculus is, uh, the Oculus is like a virtual reality headset. So you get in there, you put it on and it's all, you don't have to have like another game system. It's kind of pricey, but I feel you're figured I can't go to the gym. I can't get a trainer, you know. I need to find workouts when I can, something that will get me excited and have fun with it. And so it's a virtual reality thing. And so when you put the headset on and you get into the app, it's like you can look all around and you're like on Easter Island is the background. And <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. So then we've got this clamper bracelet. Have I ever used Wander? No, I haven't. Is that a... Is that a game on there or an app? I don't know that one. Oh, this is really pretty. I really like this one. Okay, so this chain has got this diamond or rhombus pattern. There may be another name for this style of chain. It's pretty. And then it's got these little pearls, purple stones. They're plastic, but still super fun. Let me pull it up so you can see it in its glory. In all its glory, darlings. All right. Oh, you can go get, you can go everywhere Google Maps goes. I'm going to have to look at that one. Is it on Oculus? Because I've done some of the, like, a, look at this. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's long. It's a long one like so. The, um, there are some YouTube virtual realities like National Geographic. And so <laughs> your heart rate really starts pumping when you're like standing there and a tiger's coming right up to you. And it's like, oh, <laughs> but it's really cool. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. 
my mom i tried to because i got an alice in wonderland game on there called down the rabbit hole i haven't really played too much of it it's a puzzle game where you're having to figure out stuff uh, but it was very disorienting for her so she couldn't keep it on you know I, okay, we've got a bit of a tangle here, so I'm trying to get that detangled. So let's see. And with the Oculus, you can work out in the air-conditioned room. Yes, exactly. I love it. It, it. Like I say, it is pricey, but I think for me, it's worth it because I can't, I can't really go work out. Even just getting out to walk sometimes is hard. I have a rowing machine since we're just sitting here detangling. I'm going to just show you these separately. This earring, I think the maid is here because I saw it a second. There it is. Okay. The stones are a bit different, but look, they look like marijuana leaves, don't they? And then a little drop of green. <laughs> so we've got a little marijuana leaf earrings. I'm going to detangle that because I think these are definitely going to sell. This necklace, eh, it's just kind of blah. But I'll detangle those, put that to the side. <clears throat> Yeah, and my kids, I told my kids, like, this is mine. This is not a kid toy. It's not really good for kids under a certain age, like, because it's their brain development and all that stuff. I let them do 10 minutes each. And there's a game called Job Simulator they wanted. So I got them this Job Simulator game, and it's just like what it sounds like, y'all. It's like a Job Simulator. I'm like, what? I get in there, and it's like there's a boss telling me, like, to put files on the computer and like you're working or you can choose to work in the like convenience store and then there's like people coming up asking for burritos and you have to get them burritos and slushies and they change their order mid order and like i don't want to play this i don't want a job <laughs> if i want a job <laughs> i don't want a boss <laughs> but they're enjoying it I'm like fine if you want a boss we can play job simulator at home go clean your room <laughs> go do the dishes Oh, it's different. Oh, okay. <laughs> Job simulator. Yeah. Okay. So this is a cool brooch. We've got this textured leaf pattern with these rhinestones coming down the center. That's really cool. That's a JJ. Usually we see JJ with pewter, like the Johnette jewelry, unless this is a different JJ, but I don't think so. Very cool. I'll have to look that one up because normally... When I see JJ, it's cuter. You love seeing that you can mouth off your You can. You can, like, throw donuts at him. And, like, you could do stuff to make him mad. You can get the, like, there's a restaurant one where you can, like, make the restaurant. Yeah. Oh, your kids love jobs too much. So I let them play 10 minutes each a day, which is maybe I'm being too. But they get other video game time, so they play Minecraft or whatever for their other video game time. Well, this is, I wanted to make it very clear. This is mommy's toy. Look, pistachio nuts. <laughs> Throw that away. Somebody was eating pistachios. They didn't share with the rest of us. All right, stretchy bracelet. That one will go to a lot. Making pizza is the best. <laughs> I can tell them they cannot surround the customers. <laughs> they, yeah, they, I mean, hey, they enjoy it. Hey, you play Minecraft. I, I play Minecraft too. I play with the kids. I do. Um, I don't do it every day, but they really enjoy when I play with them. Uh, okay, so this is a keychain. That'll just go to a lot. It's kind of cool though. I like the chain part on it. Another little chain here. Uh, yeah, I like the Minecraft. They like to put it on creative. I like it on survival because I want to have to build everything and know that I did it. I don't know. That sounds like a job, Margaret. Aren't you just complaining about not wanting a job? Yes, this is different. Built my look. We've got a marijuana necklace to match our marijuana earrings. I mean, I guess these leaves could be something else, but I have a feeling they're what we think it is. <laughs> a convenience store job is for fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I got in there and I started playing it, like guys coming up asking for. Make me a burrito. I want a hot dog. Put mustard on it. I want a slushy. <laughs> oh, oh, can you can you make a big a big size? I changed my mind. Like you, I'm gonna pour the slushy on you. Is what's about to happen. Okay. This oh, again, it's that wire that I hate. And then I feel like this screen is too hot. Let me make it less 
exposed. Oh, I can do that with my camera too. Okay, so I like these square beads though. They're really heavy and substantial filling. Uh, but yeah, the the wire, I just can't get behind. So that's going to go to a lot. What else have we got? We still have stuff. We're going, we're going strong, y'all. All right, we've got these wood beads. That'll go to a lot. And then there's this four-leaf clover. This will probably end up in a lot. It's got some wear to it. You know, the, the gold tone finish looks kind of rough. It's not looking great. Yeah, so that'll go to a lot. Maybe somebody can spruce it up. <clears throat> got lots of bits. What do we have here? Uh, I think that's just, let me get my, my loop. Yeah, it's just like a plastic piece. Uh, that'll go to a lot. Then, oh, we got more bangles. Oh boy. I'm about to just dump the stuff. More little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles on the ticky tacky. And we've got this ring. <clears throat> that was missing some stones. This one's kind of fun. We've got a tiny tassel. Saucy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my saucy, saucy tassel song. Woo! It's a little one, so it's almost not a tassel. But it's got three. If it were two, I would say no. For sure, no. Three? Okay. So, but look at this chain. I love it. I wish I could zoom from up here. I have to get into the doodad to make it zoom in but that's fine it's still good right we're still having fun and then this little plastic stones in here are they're red but you can barely tell because of the light they're really dark kind of like a garnet red <clears throat> but they are plastic look at that i love those little the chain on this one that is a nice necklace right there with the garnet red plastic stair plastic yeah stones cool that one is a seller, I do believe. Nice. <clears throat> I don't know if I showed this one. So this has got these amber colored. I'm feeling those because they feel like glass. Are they glass or plastic? Do you ever have that where you're like, I think they're plastic, but they're cold. Maybe these are glass. I think those two are glass. The others, I would bet, are plastic. Yeah, but those are cold to the touch, and they're you know, just harder than what you would expect. Okay. So, cool. Amber-colored necklace with a black or slash gunmetal chain. Nice. It's not actual amber, but it's very pretty. Very pretty color. All right. Got lots of bits here and some more. Oh, wait, here's some more stuff. This, this necklace is falling apart. It's got stone, though. Those are stone beads, all cold to the touch. Mm, so that'll probably just go to a lot. Ah, no! Oh, no, it's going all over my floor. <clears throat> yeah, I think overall it's a, it's been good. There's our little chick. It looks like it's been uh, like a transfer painted on a piece of wood. It's super cute, though. I can go with my other Easter one. I'm going to dump the rest. What do you say? Let's dump it. Bump. There's a lot of little beads and stuff. Hang on. Here we go. Anything worth anything in here? We've got a leaf. No back. That goes to a lot. That's a cool earring. Let me try to push it to the side. That'll go to a lot. That'll go to a lot. That's a nice little glass bead. That might go to my sister. A lot. Okay, here's a... Ugh, something got under my nail. No! This is the part where I get to edit when I'm doing a, a regular camera down. Oh, you're all vaccinated. Yay! Uh, this one is a blue box. This one is a blue box. Okay, here's an earring. So I have a, a tub that I keep solo earrings in in case I find the mates for them. So I like this. I'm going to hang on to it. Make sure to see if I can find the mate. That's awesome. Very cool. 
right, so all of this is going over to a lot. And this necklace, it's got seed beads, multi-strand seed bead with this flower. Probably just going to put that in a lot as well. Oh, here's an earring that matches the necklace. Oh, the mate's in here. So this I'm going to set aside. I probably won't list them together. I don't normally... I'll just put a link saying, you know, matching earrings can be found here and then put the link for it. <gasps> Look at this. This earring is awesome too. That's the mate here for that. I'm going to set it to the side. I feel like I've had this... I feel like I have had... I have the mate to this one. It feels like I remember seeing this. So it's probably in my earring tub that I throw my solos in. So that's a cool one. Definitely going to look for the mate on that one. Wood beads. Are they wood? They look like they might be seeds. Yeah. Seed, seed bracelet. That's going to a lot. Little angel. She'll go to a lot. And a ring. <clears throat> All right. We've got lots of little other things here. I'll just put them to the side. This is where, and when I do the videos, I start lining them up. And then I speed it up with music so you don't see it taking so long. But it does. <laughs> it takes time. There's another earring. We'll pretend like we're... Oh, look, more pistachios. Macadamia nut. <clears throat> Pistachio nut. Pecan. Peanut, which is not actually a nut. It's a legume. Name that movie, if you dare. <clears throat> All right, then some more. Yeah, so so far these earrings I'm not seeing the mates for. Perhaps they will show up. <clears throat> you went out for dinner? Oh, nice. When my mom was here, she was really, 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 really wanting to go out for dinner. But I I have only had one vaccine. I haven't had both yet. I feel like we had, I, I've had the mate to this one already, too. So that's going to be, come on, man. Lots of solo earrings here that I'm just going to have to... Look at that one. That's got like a cabochon with kind of a cloisonne. Yeah. My second vaccine is next week. No, no, it's this week. This week. Thursday. All right. I think for the most part, we've got everything. The rest are just like rando earrings with no mates which I'll put in my random earring thing. I don't even know how to make a thumbnail for this one, y'all, because normally if it's a camera up, it's me in a box. If it's camera down, we make a big thumbnail for fun down here. What are we going to do? We can say, let's make a thumbnail. I can put the music on. I guess I should have the music ready. Do y'all want to listen to the music? Will you feel bad? Maybe you'll miss it. Will you miss the music? from the speeding it up from camera down videos. Cause I, I tell you what, I did the video the other day and I, when I edited it, it took like four hours. It took forever. Here we go. Ready? You want to listen to some of the music while I make the, the thumbnail? If I can, if I can make it play, play. Dance with my people. We're going to make a thumbnail. Should we leave Jerry in there? We gotta have this guy, right? We gotta put that in there. And the blue balls need to go in. Cause they're bright. We need to have some color. What else? What else? The gold chain needs to go in. Gold chain coming at ya. Jerry. Jerry! <laughs> I wish I had more colorful stuff. I like to get a lot of color in the thumbnail. It's more showy, right? There's some kind of color up there. There's some green beads. Put those in here. What do you think? Let's get that face in here. And is that good? How about the flower? Does the flower go in there? No, it's too big. What do we think? Is that good? That's fine. All right. Now, how do I turn the music off? <laughs> there we go. 
Woohoo! All right, we've got a thumbnail kind of. I may mess with it some more, but yay! I'm so glad that y'all were able to come and witness the camera down and the camera up video. So go down there, leave a comment if you're watching later or come back and leave a comment. And if you are here now, hit that thumbs up button and I will see you on the next one. Also, I always forget, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And I post other stuff there too. So for funsies. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for being here, everyone.